companies benefit from skills development by submitting first and foremost um, the compliance documents to their CETA, which is their workplace skills plan and their annual training report. Once they've complied to the CETA process, they can access their mandatory grants, they can also access discretionary grants and pivotal funding to support their skills development within the company. And lastly, obviously, tax rebates that the government is giving as an initiative for implementing accredited uh, learnership programs. They also benefit uh, through skills development, obviously using the triple BEE skills matrix, earning the 25 points by implementing accredited learnerships. For the triple BEE scorecard, um, you need, in your organisation, you need to implement accredited learnership programs, which will actually speak to the category um, B, C, D and E on the triple BEE matrix. So 85% of your spend should be on programs that fall into those categories. To earn your maximum triple BEE score, the qualifying criteria is that 85% of your spend on skills development should be on uh, black people other than your employees. So it would be people with disability, also unemployed youth, and not and the age group should be not older than 35 years. So skills development is a huge benefit to organisations. Um, it's a give back to employees and the communities that we do business in. It uplifts and it empowers and the benefit to triple BEE uh, scores within organisations are supported plus the tax rebates incentives into companies as given through by government is a huge, huge positive for organizations, easy implementation of skills development.